In addition to Juneteenth, today also marks World Sickle Cell Day. DHEC is observing the day by raising awareness of the available resources for those living with sickle cell. They are also encouraging residents to donate blood essential for treatment of the disease. So what is sickle cell disease? It's an inherited blood disorder that impacts red blood cells. Abnormal hemoglobin can cause a person's red blood cells to be shaped like a sickle which in turn can restrict blood flow in the body and sickled cells die early, leading to a constant shortage of red blood cells. This can also cause pain, organ damage and anemia. Sickle cell disease raises the risk of infections, eye disease and stroke. Currently, the only cure is bone marrow or stem cell transplant, but it's not a treatment that is safe for everyone. And while sickle cell disease is a serious condition, state health leaders say that a person with the disease can live a long and high quality life. DHEC shares these tips for staying as healthy as possible while living with sickle cell disease. Find medical care and get regular checkups or exams with your doctor. Follow treatments as prescribed by your physician, such as taking medication and prevent infections by taking simple steps, including washing your hands practicing healthy habits like drinking eight to 10 glasses of water per day and eating healthy foods. Parents with sickle cell disease can pass the trait on to their children. A person can inherit the sickle cell trait without ever having the disease. So here's a look at how the disease is passed on. If both parents have sickle cell disease, there is a 100% chance that their children will also have the disease. If one person has sickle cell disease and the other has the trait, their children have an even chance of inheriting either the disease or the sickle cell trait. And now when both parents have sickle cell traits, children have a 50% chance of carrying that trait, 25% a chance of having the disease and one fourth will be unaffected. And then finally, when one parent carried the sickle cell trait, there is a 50% risk that a child will also carry that trait. Sickle cell affects millions of people across the world and is most common among those with ancestors from sub-Saharan Africa. In the U.S., the disease is primarily found in African Americans. People of Latino heritage are the second most commonly affected group. It is estimated that sickle cell disease affects approximately 100,000 Americans. It occurs among about one out of every 365 black or African-American births and in one out of every 16,000 Hispanic American births. And it's estimated that one in 13 or African-American babies is going to be born with the sickle cell trait. DHEC recently announced a new program to help patients with sickle cell disease. It's a voluntary online patient registry for those who are suffering with the condition. The registry will allow DHEC to analyze patient data and use it for scientific research and attract the disease and identify areas where patients need the most help. Anna Bleasdale with DHEC says this could be a game changer for supporting patients. Once we have the solid data for the state of South Carolina, again, we're going to capture those health outcomes. We're going to look at health disparities, look at health equity, um, look at our provider access because there's limited hematologists in the state as well. All of this will kind of drive the support for those individuals living with sickle cell disease and just make sure they have the resources available to live healthy lives. The names of the users will be protected on the site. They hope that to have that registry up and running by the end of the year. The state health agencies have resources available to help those who are living with sickle cell. For qualifying adults, DHEC has a program that provides care coordination and payment assistance for medical services, medication and supplies for people who have sickle cell disease. And for children with the disease, they may receive help through the Children and Youth with Special Health Care Needs Program.